we've been going up there pretty regularly for the last 15 years, I would say. And each trip has been exactly what we wanted. It's been uh, a really good experience for our players. You only have this two week window really to prepare for your first game. It's not a lot of time at all. So you, you really try to maximize the time that you have together in the preseason. And one of the ways we can do that is to be together and uh, to train together, to live together. And Michigan provides that opportunity to do that. Every season for the better part of two decades, the Virginia women's soccer team has made the trek to Glen Arbor, a sleepy township nestled on the shores of Lake Michigan. While the natural environment represents a vacation destination for many, the Cavaliers' purpose is something entirely different. The ability to get so many first and second years together, I mean, literally the 21, 22 first or second years. So to have them uh, be in an isolated environment where they can fo focus on soccer and focus on getting to know each other. It's been very important for us in the past and this year in particular because of the younger players that we've had. I think it was even more so. It's got some natural things that we use. It's one of the few places that have sand dunes. Um, now our players wouldn't think that would be exciting because they're running in the sand all the time, but um, for us it's a little something different. It's not something that every team has during the preseason. Psychologically, that's something that we utilize. We eat together, obviously, and we do that at different locations in the area. They're literally living together. The boarding school that we stay at, the dorm that we stay at, is, is really quite good for bonding. It gives us a chance to you know, have our older players room with our younger players and to try to facilitate some, some chemistry there. There's some things that we do up there that are, that are fun, that take the edge out. We, we usually have a minute to win it contest, which is pretty hilarious. We're meeting, we're talking about our tactics, we're talking about our terminology, we're, we're going over set plays. There's just a lot of things you can accomplish up there in a, in a short time. Called to coach the U.S. Women's National Team in the Olympic Games, Swanson tracked his team's progress from afar. Upon his return, he found a UVA squad eager to learn, adapt, and communicate. Trades fostered on the shores of Lake Michigan. These you know, the coaches here are special, you know. I'm very fortunate to have coaches that you can literally turn the team over to and, and you're not going to miss a beat for the most part. We videotaped a lot of the sessions and they put them up on box, so I downloaded them in Brazil and I was able to kind of keep an eye on what was going on there. Uh, I think I'll say what, what I said back then was I think we have a lot of potential. Um, we're not a team just yet in the sense that we're still gelling together and we're still uh, figuring out our roles on the team a little bit. But they're coachable, um, they take information well, um, and they can translate it. And I think that's a, that's, a, that's a real important piece for our team getting better in the future. When you look at our squad over the last couple of years, I mean, we've, we've lost five first round draft picks to the pros. That's a lot, that's a lot of talent. But I think there's, uh, we have a veteran group returning and we have a veteran group returning in the back of our, of our team, so in the defensive piece of our team. So that's, that's been a real positive for us. A positive to the tune of over 800 scoreless minutes, outscoring opponents 18 to nothing. Senior goalkeeper Morgan Stearns has combined with fellow seniors Megan Cox, Kristen McNabb, and Tina Iridanu to form a veteran nucleus that shuts down opponents while starting an attack led by Alexis Schaffer and Veronica Lasco. The goal for the 2016 Cavaliers is deceptively simple. Develop enough skill and chemistry among the veterans and talented underclassmen to adapt to any game plan. We're trying to have tools, as I call it, tools in the toolbox that we can manage any game with. Uh, so if the team decides to play physical on us, here's how we can respond to that. If they, if they decide to sit back against us, here's how we can respond to that. These first games have been good for us because everybody's been, been a little bit different and we've had to adjust to that. And, and so that's, that's very exciting to, to see, not just for you know, the here and now, but also the long term, down the road. Can we continue to mold that down the road into something that's really special? We're, I'm, I'm very excited about that. We all are, I think. We all are.